Yo, what's going on guys? Bobby here and today we are back with another video. So today what we're going to be doing is showing you guys the most underrated brawler, in my opinion, in the game. And this is going to be Colette. Now Colette is a really, really good and versatile brawler. It doesn't even have two gadgets yet. So maybe when it gets a second gadget, it's going to be the most broken brawler in the game. But I think right now it is the most versatile and easy to play brawler. And we're going to talk about it why in the game's following. Now before that starts, we did a giveaway last video. 10 people get added to my friends list, just 10 random people that comment, sub, and like. There are going to be 10 names on the screen right now. If you guys are one of the winners, please DM me on Discord or on Twitter with proof that you are the person that made that comment because a lot of people try and kind of lie their way onto the friends list. But with that being said, let's just hop straight into the video and let's get started. Okay, so here we go into the first game here and we're going to be going up against Jackie, Colt, and Barley. So this is not necessarily... One of the best maps for Colette, but she can work just about anywhere because she doesn't really have any counters or any really big weakness points. So Jackie's definitely a brawler we want to go for. We're going to get easy two shots on the Jackie. We're probably going to go down here. Oh, we're able to stay alive, actually. So personally, I use shields, Colette. I haven't spoken about this, actually. The shield I like more since it got the buff. I think it's really good. Um, the knockback was good until I realized that no matter what brawler you knock back at the very edge of the shot They're gonna be able to take a full shot at you So if you're facing like a Jackie a Shelly or a bull and you knock them back They're still gonna be able to get one really good shot off at you So if you're playing Colette in siege something I would definitely recommend is going for the Ike like I am right now and trying to hit them at the same time This is just gonna give you basically extra damage extra percentage extra supercharges extra everything You want to get as much value with your super as possible so that's a really good first game. Let's hop into the second one and let's keep on going. All right, so here we go into our next game. So again, we're going to be going up against the Jackie. Usually in Siege, you get at least one Brawler that you kind of hard counter with Colette. With Colette, the hard counters are basically just the tanks. It's pretty easy, pretty simple. Three shots. It's already basically dead. Going to be able to get that kill over there. And with Spike, we don't do a great time against Spike, but we do outrange it by a little bit. So you just want to kind of stay away from the Spike. And if you're good at juking the, uh, the Spike shots that come out of the original shot, then you're gonna have a really easy time handling Spike with Colette. So we're just gonna stay away and try again the same strategy of piercing the safe and doing damage at the same time to Brawlers. Now again, this is not this is pretty hard. Like it's not gonna happen like it did in the last game because it's pretty rare that players kind of just like line up and let you do that. It looks like this tick might have given up though. So we actually might be able to do it again. So it's gonna be another one push. You usually don't get the one push as easily as that, but apparently we've been getting them, so we're not going to complain. We're going to hop into one more Siege game, and then we're going to switch the mode to Gem so we can show you guys Colette and Gem. So let's hop into it. Let's show you guys what's up. So here we go into our last Siege game. Now, Nita, Pam, and Jackie is what we're going to be going against, and these are three brawlers that we hard counter all of them. So it's really fascinating, actually, especially since we don't normally see these brawlers that we're going to be facing them right now, but we're going to take it. It's going to be a really easy first kill. We got all the brawlers very low right off the start. The good thing with Colette is that you get brawlers really low really fast. Now, it does take a little bit of a while to kill them, but you do have teammates, so you don't necessarily need to focus them when they're low. Your teammates can do that, and you can just help chip them down fast very easily. So we're going to get the first bot. Hopefully, we don't one push here so I can talk a little bit more about the game rather than just one push at the very start, but we're going to go again for that pure shot that we always go for. Gonna do some safe damage or some Ike damage, I mean, and it's honestly looking like a one push again, so we might do one more siege game. Okay, we'll do one more siege game because all these have just been one pushes, so let's hop into the next one. Let's not waste any time. Let's get into it. All right, so here we go into our fourth and final game of siege. We're gonna be going up against an 8 bit, so again, I usually said there's one brawler at least that we counter. We counter 8 bit pretty well just because the movement speed is so slow. Now, one thing you guys might have noticed about Colette is you don't actually have to aim that much, you can auto aim a lot of your shots dependent on how close you are and on 8-bit you can basically auto aim all of them and that's also something that's really cool so if you just play a lot of Colette you guys are going to learn the distance of when you can and when you can't auto aim and you guys are actually going to become really good with it now some things with Colette that you can do on Siege and you guys haven't been seeing much of it because we've just been one pushing is you can actually super to get a bolt so like if you really need one bolt in specific to like win a game or something you can just super up get that bolt really easily and then just you know you're gonna end up back at your original location another thing when defending is you're really good at taking out opposing t uh teams like throwers or dps just because you can get them low really easily and your teammates can chip them down and when you have your super you can do what you normally do on offense so you can pierce shot the bot and players at the same time get double the value do a lot of damage to them etc it's just really easy with colette and siege and this isn't really a siege colette map like it's not the greatest for colette there's a lot of walls 
And one weakness that Colette does have is she doesn't peek walls very well. But even with that, it's pretty easy wins. It's super easy. So this is looking like it's going to wrap up the siege kind of portion of the video. And I'm not really doing it in portions. But it's going to wrap up all the siege games. We're going to move over into gem for the next game. And there's a lot to do with Colette and gem. There are a lot of different ways to play it. So we're going to show you guys some of those. Let's hop into it. And let's explain what's up with Colette in gem. So here we go into our gem game. So we're going to be going up against Byron mid or 8-bit mid. I'm not really too sure. So if it's going to be 8-bit mid, I should probably mid. And if it's Byron, I should probably go lane. It's going to be 8-bit. So I'm going to go the mid. So with Colette, you can play both mid and lane, which not a lot of brawlers can do. So if you're playing a brawler like Pam or 8-bit and you're the mid with, or, or I mean, if you're Colette, that's really easy mid. That's easy dubs. You just need to keep your distance and you counter both those brawlers. Unless you make a really big mistake or your lanes kind of push you back, you're going to win that game. Now, they do have a Byron, which is going to be basically a buffed 8-bit. It's going to be a little bit more interesting. What you want to do with the Colette Super, like I wanted to show you guys before with the bolts, but we didn't have a chance to, is if you really desperately need something, you can just super up exactly like that and just go get it. It's super simple. There's no way for them to stop you unless you just die somehow, but you do have a shield, so it's pretty easy to not die uh, when doing that. So again, we counter the 8-bit. The 8-bit hasn't really been able to do much to us so far. They're going to switch lanes as they feel it's going to be more simple for them, but we're just going to go for this. Our goal is not to get basically killed by this Byron. We just got to stay um, very careful, you know, slow and steady. They do have a Colt though, so the Colt's going to be able to get a lot of DPS and win lane pretty easily. So this is a situation where if you get some position and there are two gems just in the middle for you to get countdown, you can just super in and go get them. One of those situations I was talking about earlier, there's obviously that gem over here. So we're going to wait it out, wait for a second one to spawn. And when it does, we're just going to go in and get it. There we go, gonna go get that gem, and we're gonna be right back to our original location. Completely untouched, safe, nothing that anyone could do about it. And now it's just really easy kills. Now if you were to face someone like a Byron mid or something like that, you simply just switch over to the lane as you're not gonna win that one. You probably counter or go even with the lane because there are no really brawlers that counter you. So you just switch over, but that's going to be gem. So let's move into Brawl Ball. And let's show you guys what to do in Brawl Ball. All right, so here we go into Brawl Ball. And now with Colette in Brawl Ball, it's really map dependent. So I definitely wouldn't recommend playing Colette on penalty kick, but we're going to try and make it work. You want to play Colette, obviously, on a map where there are going to be tons of tanks and stuff that you counter. Um, so we're going to go down. They're going to get the first goal over there unless we somehow magically stop it. But with Colette and Brawl Ball, it's pretty simple. You basically just try and wipe as many people as possible. You're definitely not the gem or the ball carrier because you don't really have that fast of ammo. Um, regen, you get your ammo pretty slowly. That's another downside with Colette is that ammo doesn't charge really fast. You kind of got to wait it out if you spray three shots. Um, but still, regardless, it's still really good in most Brawl Ball maps. This one kind of being the exception almost. Gonna go up aggro over here. You guys saw we won our lane pretty easily. We did go up against Nita though, which is someone that we do definitely counter. Try to go for the goal there. If we had the knockback star power, you're able to do that. Basically, all it is is you shoot forward, you knock them back, and then the ball is just going to go in the net while you're knocking them back. You can't obviously do it with shield, so I don't know why I tried to do it. Um, but that is a play that you can definitely make. Raz is going to be able to get a kill over there. We're going to try and move up. But basically, in Brawl Ball, you just want to get as many kills as possible. Try and target people that you counter rather than going up against someone like a B or a Colt, even though that is what we're doing because I don't really have anyone else to go for. Jig's going to be able to get the kill over there. I don't think we're going to be able to score, though. We don't have a wall breaker, which is kind of unfortunate. Wall breakers are really important in Brawl Ball. B, obviously, being a really good brawler. Same with Colt. This one's definitely going to be a tough win for us. Going to shoot and super the wall over there. That's something that happens a lot. Even to me, I have it happens all the time. I just super things, and I hit a wall or something. Don't worry if you hit a wall. You're not a trash player. It happens to the best of us uh, with your super. It's not the end of the world, but we do have 45 seconds to score here. So I kind of got to focus up. We should probably just try and go for a team wipe and hope that we get kills all at the same time because it seems to be the only way that we're going to score. We have them pinched pretty nicely back though. So that's a really good start. Going to be able to get a kill over there. I'm going to move up with the ball. Raz is going to be killed. Jig hopefully can get this Nita. The Nita's one shot. Oh no. Jig missed one of his auto-aim shots, and I think that's going to cost us the game over there. I was going to try and go for a goal, but it didn't work out. Raz looks like he gives up, and that is probably going to be the game. But anyways, that is going to be it for Gem in, or for Colette in Brawl Ball. There's not much more that we can really do. And again, it's decent. It's a lot better on some Brawl Ball maps. On this one, unfortunately, isn't the one. 
and obviously it is super good on heist but there is no heist out right now so anyways it's going to be it for the video i'm going to go back to pushing colette as it stands right now we are number one in the world and i'm heavily considering going for 2k colette we're at least going to get world record probably by day two or three of the season but i do want that world or that 2k i mean so we're probably going to go for that this season but anyways it's going to be it for the most underrated brawler so i hope you guys enjoyed the video if you guys did as always leave a thumbs up comment and sub but that's going to be it i will catch you guys again tomorrow peace